In the words of 38 Special, take me back to paradise. Welcome back to Paradise. We're on episode three, and I am thoroughly enjoying this game. Um, if you don't know what I did, I moved all of my base that I built last time up here to where I built the little wood collector and the pylon. This whole area up here. Originally, I built it like right down here, and then I realized up here is a much, much better spot. So I moved everything up here, which to move it, all you have to do literally is you just go up to a thing, like th maybe not that specifically, you go up to a thing and you can click to dismantle it. It's like interact and then it move and then ta-da, it puts you back in your inventory and you're good to go. So one of the things I need to do real quick before we head off and do the next objective is to try and kind of limit how much crap can get in over here. So I want to build a wall or two. Let's see, E to rotate, we'll rotate, eh, you need to be on the outside. Let's see how snug we can get this in right there and right there and right. Do I not have enough supplies or hang on? I can't see what's going on. Why, 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 why you want to let me put it there? Do I not have enough supplies or is it just because it's overlapping now? You're over. I need you to be a little bit of a smaller version. Well, uh, okay. I get sure. Okay. You just randomly poop out supplies. I'll take it. Nice. Okay, so right after the last video, whatever, I went down to where it says, hey, you've got a message and opened it up here. And I'm sorry I didn't get that on the video. But basically what it wants me to do is it wants me to build a rocket launch pad and get the hell off this planet. Basically, that's where it's having me go here. But for the moment, what it's having me do is I need to go down and find some alloy plates. So I have this right around over here and this area right around over here. I need to find some alloy plates. So we're going to march our happy butts from here. Wait in here. Let me remove you. How do I remove you? There we go. Removing all the waypoints. Um, I, I wish there was a little bit of an easier way, like a remove all instead of having to try and find it and click on it. Because I've accidentally, if you left click, it leaves a waypoint like that. And trying to move the, the map around, I, it's all me. It's 100% user error, but I wish I could remove those a little bit easier. Okay, so here's a bridge that I think I repaired. Is that what that is? Bridge, yeah, okay, so I can make my way down, cross this bridge, get back down to the old Paradise Camp. This is kind of where we started from, I believe, in this general area, right down here. So it's right up the road, so we need to go that direction. So, we're going to go that way, see if we can't find some alloy plates. Um, I just want to say thank you guys very much, so freaking much, for all the support on these uh, videos so far. They've had some really good responses. They even did a poll on the community tab and on Twitter. Asking you guys if you, you know, wanted to see some more of this or, you know, some of the other games that we had been playing. And, you know, this one actually got a lot of votes and I, I really do appreciate that. Um, and, you know, as far as like the whole views metric goes, basically, um, I just let you guys know that I really do appreciate you guys showing up here. So if you're watching these videos and you do like them, you know, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. It helps out a whole lot. Try to remember to say that at least at the end, but sometimes you got to remember to say it in the very beginning too, or people that don't make it to the end won't remember. So yeah, leave a like if you're new here and you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe, that whole song and dance. So, yeah, we're going to keep playing this game for a little bit. Okay, uh, for a second, for a second, I got a little paranoid. I, every time I see these guys over here filling up buskets of water, they're all, um, they make me panic because I think, hey, I'm about to have to whoop some A. I have no more shots for this particular uh, for this particular gun. Okay, you attack these people right there. Get him. Yeah, and then you get him. And then get him. Don't run towards me. Here, attack him. Here, you, you don't even need to go ranged. Somebody had said what I need to name my zombot, my little robot zombie there. I need to ra ra uh, name him Kenny. Because that way when he dies, I can say, oh my god, they killed Kenny, you bastards. Which is not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. Alright, so, that doesn't sound good. Oh, dude was hiding in the tree. Hey, here, go get him real quick. Thank you very much. We are taking a little bit of damage, no big deal. I need you to go up here and take out that one now. I'll wait over here and watch. It's the whole reason I brought you, is so you can tank some stuff. Alright, there you go. Now go get that one. And while you're doing that, I'm going to scooch up here and pick up some supplies. Here, I'll finish. Ta-da! What do we got in here? Bam. Oh, hell! You're fast! I like how you walk real fast. It's like you're speed walking. Get him! You're not getting him! Oh, I love the music. Here, I'll get him. Don't, here, just let me do it. Let me do all the work. 
I love the music. This is some like serious um, Scooby Doo level of music here. Retrieve. Oh, nice. Oh, hell, there we go. Got the alloy plate, and we pissed off all the zombies. So that wasn't the best idea. How about we backtrack this way and see if we can't outrun some of these idiots? Yeah, I love this music. That is sweet. Uh, what would be a good idea right now would be a good place to find a teleport and make our way down to the other direction. Wild Forest. This is the level 5 to 10 things. We could probably take out that little horde, but it's... Uh, yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to... Are you coming after me? Hey, come help me. Come help me. I'm not sure what you were doing. Maybe you took out the entire crowd that was over there. That seems like a very possible thing. Um, everyone... Okay, you're taking out the pylon? That works, too. Here, I'll help you out. Every once in a while, I'll have people message me on different sources asking me some questions about this game. What you're seeing right now is as far as I've made it into the game. So, um, I can offer tips and tricks based strictly on what I've done so far. Uh, so, uh, some people ask me about, hey, Cap, you know, I'm working on such and such quest. And I'm like, I haven't even got there yet. I don't know how to answer that question. So, love that you guys reach out to me for help. Makes me feel like I'm doing something good. Even if I haven't got there yet. So I'll continue to try and answer your questions if I can. Alright, we already talked to that one. There should be a teleportante right up here. There we go. Let's get in. Okay, so we need to go down here. Let's go right there. Shoop! 84% chance success rate into the poop shoot. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> kind of curious. If we didn't have a successful trip, you know, and that 16% chance that it's not a success, what would happen? I mean, obviously, it's just for, you know, silliness and lore, basically. But still, it'd be kind of interesting to see what would happen if everything just kind of went to crap. So here's the other gate. There's the other sheet. Huh. Come here. Can I... Can you shoot them through the fence? That's a lot of zombies. That's a, that's a lot of zombies for me to not have any ammo for the one gun that I have. Can I craft any ammo for this thing? Air pellet pistols. I don't know if that goes for these. Do I actually even have any of those? Okay, let me try real quick to see if these actually um, work for the same gun. Okay, they do. Sweet. All right, so I don't know how many it shoots at a time, but I'll tell you what, let's go ahead, wrong button, and craft another... Yeah, there we go. Craft, there we go. Now we got a decent chunk. We're ready to go. Okay, you ready, dude? I need you to be ready. And go. Oh, hang on. I got to give him a chance to actually... There you go. Okay. Okay, it doesn't help that it shoots four at a time. I mean, it helps when you're trying to lay down a crowd, of course, but, you know, when you're trying to, you know, conserve ammo, it doesn't help that you're shooting four rounds at a time. Don't chase me. Hold on. There you go. Here, I'll switch. Dunk. Oh, nice, you saved me. Kenny, you did a good job. Who else is down here? This is a good place to kind of funnel them in. I need you to come over here and help out, though. From a little bit closer range. Not that I uh, I think you can't handle them from this distance. Oh my god, look at all these bodies here. That's just amazing. We're gonna keep reloading. We're, keep, we're gonna keep cleaning up the... Uh oh! Level up, baby! Oh, this is the gun to use now. Look at that! It's like a spreader from Contra. Hang on, I'm reloading. Yeah, you get the ones that make it through the gate. I'll handle this little section here. Dude, this gun is beastly. Look at all this material laying around over here. Hang on, we're gonna have a couple more coming up here. Build the lo uh, the rocket launch pad. Is that all I needed was just two pieces of scrap metal to do that? Okay, we'll tell you what. We're gonna go this direction, and we're gonna re we're gonna build the launch pad close to my house. Uh, is there a specific spot you want me to go to build it? Sometimes it's like, hey, you need to go here. I guess not. So let's get back over to our house and see if we can't build a uh, rocket launch area. 
That could be cool. What I need to get is one of these fast transport tubes, the poop chute, as we uh, effectively call them, and have one put over near my house so I can get back and forth a little faster. And I'm going the wrong way. Shoop. And we made it. You know, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and use the bandage real quick just in case. This gun we have is pretty sweet. I like it a lot. So it kind of looks like... No, y'all can just mind your own business. It kind of looks like, if I saw correctly... Okay, so that's not a teleport. This is a teleport. This is a pylon. That's a teleport. I need to build one, like right there. That was a teleport. I need to get up over this way and activate that one because I couldn't use that one. So I may have ran past that one in the past and just not even knew it was there. Kind of tucked up in the trees on some of these. Low on the stamina. Whoops, wrong direction. Damn, these guys can take a hit. This is their armor, I tell you. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's not really doing a whole lot to them at all. Damn, okay. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave, okay. I'm just gonna have to get some melee attacks in here. Come help me, sir! Kenny, where you is? Whoops, sorry, dude. <laughs> I swung past him and hit him on the backswing. <laughs> uh oh. Hang on. Nope, hang on, we gotta use a bandage. Protect me while I'm bandaging up, okay? Stay down now. Stay down. There you go. All right, let's defeat this little pylon before it brings in some more. Antile projector armor? That could be useful. Go ahead and grab all of these supplies. Appreciate, ga appreciate you guys bringing all this stuff to me. Oh, thanks. You picked it up and bring it to me. It's kind of you. So is this, what is this? Latch and an old tire. How close am I to, it's right there. I need to go and tire project. Okay, so we're getting close to that. It's gotta be right up here. Oh, hang on. It's around the corner. There we go. Activate this one and we can get a little bit faster back and forth. Sweet. All right, is this the message board? This is where I talked to the message board that told me what I needed to do to build the uh, rocket launch facility. So, I, I honestly, it's been a minute. I've slept and I've played a couple other games since the last time I recorded this. I don't specifically remember why I'm building a rocket. That is going to be a surprise for all of us. Here's home sweet home. All right, so we might, I'm not sure how big this rocket pad's going to be, but this looks like a big open area that we could blast off with. Rocket launch pad. Oh, I need some rope. Okay, let me craft a little bit of rope. One, two, three. Craft. Rocket launch pad. Okay, let's build it. How big is it? Oh, it's not that big. That's what she said. Let's put that right there. Go back and talk to Jeff. Where's Jeff? It's Hefe, fool. Is this one of those where we don't know where Jeff is? Go back and talk to Jeff, talk to Jeff, talk to Jeff, talk to... Why are all of these... <laughs> Why? Which one is Jeff? There's... Okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure which direction Jeff is. Okay, hold on. I want to see. What do I have to do with this? Interact. Upgrade. I need a rocket engine. The primary engine of the Moon W rocket abandoned on the launch pad after the last... Okay, so we have basically just the structure. Nothing else on here. So we, we're a long ways away from being, you know, a, an astronaut. Can't tell you. When I was a kid, I, I really wanted to be an astronaut. Okay, here we go. Cutscene time. Hello, hello. Still alive. Great yes. news. Speaking of news, I've got some good news and some bad. Let's start with the good news. You've been accepted into H2. Your luxury Woohoo! condos are waiting for you here on the moon. 24-7 view of Earth. Nice. The bad news, which isn't all that bad, is that our board of directors has judged it too risky to come and get you. What? But not to worry. Our latest rockets can be built as easily as Scandinavian furniture. You just need oh, to find okay. all the parts. Yeah. Assemble them on the launch pad, <laughs> and that's it. Off to H2 and the good life. Sweet. Given all the launch tests we did in the area, you should easily find what you need to build your own rocket. Start by searching in our launch base. It's in the desert area, just north of the forest. Okay, sir. Go back and talk to Jeff and aim for the stars. Okay, so I gotta find the launch area. Where is that going to be? That's gonna be well, it's gonna be a little bit of a trip up there. 
Got to go around. Let's see. Is that a... I'm not sure if there's a path right here. There's a path here for certain. So what I probably need to do is go down and around this way just to make sure. Because we got a little bit of a trek to go. I don't know what level the uh, the foresty area is going to be. But um, let me see. Bandages are good. Let me see. How am I on ammo? Let me get you reloaded real quick. While I'm literally standing here, let's go ahead and make a couple more. Uh, what's the... That looks like a good number. Just a tremendous amount of ammo. Because at least against everything except for the armored zombies, it does a really good job. Especially amongst the big squishy crowds. It's fantastic. Alright, well let's get over and see if we can't find the desert. Alright, so we got another pylon up here. I can't... I don't think these are armed zombies. I, I mean, armored zombies. I think they're just armed. Hey, uh, if you could shoot the one that's right next to me, I'll get these idiots that are lined up in a group. Oh, hell, they shoot hard. Just give me another chance to bandage real quick. Reload. We'll be good. Oh, hell, let me do it again. Don't, don't plank me. Don't plank me. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. I'm going to go through a lot of bandages up here. Okay, you ready? My turn. Okay, so these guys can take a shot, that's for sure. Here, let me see if you work better with melee. Common air pistol, common air pistol, common air pistol. No. We don't need any more of you idiots coming over here. Not right now, anyway. Somebody did mention that there was a good reason to leave behind these pylons when we get them, and I guess mostly just for basically farming zombies. And I completely understand that notion, but... It's also a good way to die if you're, you know, running back through there and not paying attention. Sweet, sweet. Outpost desert unlocked. All right. All right, let's go. How about you go attack this guy first so we can kind of see where we are as far as damage and stuff. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad here. I'll come in and help out. Hang on. No, no, none of that. None of that at all. Alright, so we've reached... Um, I guess we need to go right. What is this? A little pneumatic... To Ooh, some aloe vera. Nice. So when we get sunburned here in our uh, really can uh, pale skin, we can put some aloe vera on it and sleep just fine. Hope the sheets don't touch us. <laughs> Any of my fellow gingers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, I'm sure anybody can get sunburned, of course, but you know what I mean. All of us fair-skinned individuals that have to deal with that all the time. Hang on, stop chasing me for a second. I need to bandage up. Go ahead and use another one real fast. It's almost like some Dukes of Hazard music while they're chasing me here. I like it. Okay, let's take down this uh, take down this pylon so they won't spawn back in while we're doing this. Again, eventually, I could see why you would possibly need to um, have these around for extra supplies and stuff. But on the other side, completely clearing out an area is way more fun. I'll go ahead and get one more bandage in there. It's a good thing finding things like torn cloth is pretty... Oh, you can hide? Oh, well, you can tell the zombie to hide. What do we have here? Is that Hefe? Davis Lant, are you a good zombie or a bad zombie? Do you have a flower on your shoulder? Oh, you're, you're, you're watering plants and stuff, aren't you? That's adorable. Full bottle. Sure, I'll take you. And grab you as well. All right, who are you? Is this Jeff? Day... Hold on, what'd that say? Hey, and who might you be? what you want? What you want is... This here is the entrance to Davis Land, Peckerhead. You can't just walk in. What? You want me to open her up? You're going to have to prove yourself as worthy. A uh, fetch quest. Let me guess. You want something. You go hunt a couple of gazelles with a bow. Let's see if you got the speed and aim I could admire you for. Now, I want a good show. You better take note. I got my eye on you. I'm sure you do, Billy Bob. Um, okay. Hunt some gazelles with a bow. Well, okay. Do I have a bow? Let's see, I've got a crossbow bolt, I've got some arrows. How do I get said bow? Um, crossbow? 
Okay, so I can make, let me see, that's a common crossbow, that's a rare crossbow. I'd have to have a common crossbow, and, okay, so this is what we can make. Alright, so I need to make, hang on, just a little bit of rope, and make a couple of those. Craft those, and that's a rare crossbow, Cra hold on. Craftable in the weapons workshop. Oh, dude, do you have a weapons workshop I could borrow? Like, can you, can you help me out? Oh, oh, am I gonna have to go all the way home? That's a lot of zombies. Am I gonna have to go all the way home? Por favor? But, but it's, it's a long ways home. Aw. Look, I have to go all the way home to do that? You suck. Uh, let's see, yeah, because it looks like this goes all the way around. Maybe it goes back up. And even that doesn't look like it connects. Oh, you suck. But, 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 can I trade you for one, maybe? Well, crap. We're going to have to run all the way home so we can make ourselves a bow. I didn't even realize I was going to need one, obviously. That's slightly a bit of a bummer. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's okay. guess we just got to run all the way home. Uh, hang on. We got a... I got a waypoint icon on the, the map. Oh, this is because it's a gazelle hunting thing here. I'm kind of curious. If I just killed one and brought it to him... Would he even know? And what is this? That's a good way to start a fire. A chetty! You know, what's common in games is if it's like, hey, by the way, we need you to kill some crap with a bow, they give you a bow. They don't just be like, well, good luck, sir. I know you came packing a gun, but we don't do that around here. Time to crack some melons. Good job, zombie. Kenny. You know what I need to do is I need to remap the pick up crap laying on the ground button to like my mouse thumb button. Because trying to navigate with WASD and using a finger to press E to pick stuff up. Yeah, I push the wrong one all the time. Okay, there's home. Let's go here. Shoom. Come on out, splat. I do love that. I don't think that gets tiring watching them go sploom every time they get shot out of the tube. Home sweet home. At least the teleport's not too far from here. Crap. All right, so let's see. I can make this. What are these? A legendary bow? Um, Common bow, rare bow. I need to have a common bow. For, okay, so if I craft one of you, then can I craft one of you? Oh, I could go all the way up here. Okay, so if I could craft one of you, and then I could craft one of you, a legendary bow. Boom, baby. Okay, now in terms, uh, you're just a regular bow. So can I just straight up craft a bunch of arrows? That's that's a lot. Okay, okay. Check our inventory. We got a lot of random crap here. Oh, hang on. Uh, by the way, you do have a base uh, storage here. It's not a tremendously huge one. I'm thinking you might be able to upgrade it at some point, but you can store stuff over here. It's where I've put a bunch of stuff that I have. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Scrap all the junk. There we go. That cleared up a little bit of space. Okay. Let me move a few things over here I don't need to have on me right this second. Okay, I made a mistake. Um, okay, I made a mistake here. I crafted all the way up to a legendary bow thinking it's going to be okay. It requires level 16. I'm only in 11. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use that. I can disassemble that, get a decent chunk of the supplies back, and then just make myself a new one. Common bow, craft you, and then from there, I need to make a little bit more rope. Here, I can make one of those. Now I can make a regular bow. Ta-da, there we go. Now, at level 11, I have that actually equipped here. So, let's see. Do I have a cursor for this? No. All right, we got our bow at least, and we got a, and I switched over to the machete I found here because it does a little bit better DPS than the bat I was using. So, pro tip, pay attention to the level of the item that you're trying to craft, or you may make something and you can't use it. At least when you disassemble things, you can get parts back from it. It's not just a complete loss every single time. All right, well, let's get back over to the desert. All right, so it looks like we have a, a desert storm thing blowing in, a sandstorm. That's going to make it a little challenging. I'm not sure if the arrows in this game are affected by wind. Is it taking any... Okay, I'm not taking any damage from this. Holy cow, that was fast and easy. There's one. Gotta get one more. 
I was I did not mean to shoot that as fast as I was going to. I was just trying to line it up, see if I could get a headshot, and he just I straight up quick scoped a deer. All right, Sandstorm, you could go ahead and dissipate now. That'd just be great, so I could walk at a normal speed. Gotcha. Speak to Davis, land the guard. So that's all I had to do was impress Davis, was just go out and massacre a couple gazelle. Easily impressed? Sure, sure, sure. No big deal. All right, Davis, where you is? It is so bright here. Oh, my God. That is, I'm like squinting as I'm staring at my screen here from the reflection on the sand. Holy cow. Hey, dude. Let me in Davis land. Bad, I'll admit it. Hunting a gazelle with a bow with zombies all around is the kind of crazy I don't mind respect you for. Thanks, sir. How do you? I'm Nolan Davis. Sweet, you got zombies Welcome working for you too. Land, tourist. I ain't no tourist. Am I? Davis land. Alright, I'm a I'm a tourist now. It's so bright. We're getting Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Davis? What the hell, man? Your zombies are coming after me here. That ain't cool. Am I gonna have to take down your pylon? Oh hell, that ain't cool. Y'all hurt y'all hurt good. Not even sure what hit me. A uh, boomerang? Oh, that's what you're throwing at me. You suck. Okay, so Davis, I'm gonna have to take out your pylon here because your zombies are bunch of Aussies throwing their boomerangs at me. Look what you made me do. Alright, we're trying to get up here to collect rocket parts, I believe. Oh, crap. These people... Oh, no! I got stuck into a comp. Hey, come get me! You died! Okay, well, we're back in Davis land. Trying to get up to wherever we need to go here. Here, you go get them. Here, how about this? How about, where's my inventory here? Where's my where's my gun at? There it is. Let me put you back over here. I got some ranged attack too, Beavis. How about it, huh? Did you like it? Did you like it when I just hit you when you couldn't do anything about it? Aye! Calm down, Chief. Holy cow, you're going to hit hard too. Those boomerangs are hard to see. Stay down, man. Stay down. I feel like I'm getting sniped here. Hey, zombie. Uh, hey, Kenny. You want me to equip a boomerang on you? What's this? Cactus flowers. Moon W Memorial. Okay. We got us a crowd. I hope I'm not hitting you with that gun. I kind of feel bad if I kill my own zombie. I mean, not real, real bad, but just a little bit. I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, you want to roam around and gather some stuff and bring it to me? I'm going to go ahead and use a bandage real quick just in case. All right, let's see what this is. You are standing where the conquest of space truly started. From here, Moon W fired up the first rockets for colonization of the moon. Sweet. The latest rocket model, named First Jump 73B, boasts the next generation 5090 Ti electric propulsion non-polluting green e batteries and cool. brain b electronics brain b electronics okay three groundbreaking technologies researched and developed by the subsidiaries of the tusk group first jump xxv rockets were used to deliver the materials needed to build h2 a vast lunar base that can permanently house the first colonists cool Who w would like to pay tribute to its beloved creator the visionary alan tusk who left us too early and without whom Nothing would have been possible. Nothing at all. Management is committed to researching the ecosystem stabilization of farming domes to make H2 self-sufficient with regard to food. This will reduce the need to import resources from Earth. Yeah, I like a duck like to remind and a monkey and a dog. That it never used animals of any kind to conduct the first crude flights. Why not? And that all rumors oh, hell. contrary are unfounded. <laughs> Finally, Moon W wishes to remind you that the firm was not aware of any development failure during its lunar conquest program. None at all. That in case a visitor were ever to find rocket debris, pieces like on of the playground, or any other element that could come from the explosion of one or more rockets, 
Please do not approach them, photograph them, or pick them up. Well, that's... For your souvenirs, we invite you to visit the Moon W gift shop to find a selection of collectibles. Okay. Cool. Cryptocurrencies are not accepted anymore. <laughs> that's pretty on the nose. That's funny. Find the launch area. Is that... Am I not in the launch area? Hang on. Um, uh, it's fine. Okay, so it's still somewhere around here, right? That looks like the launch area right over on that. How do I get to that side? Well, we gotta find a way through the fence. Hey, Davis! This is your area. How do we get down over there? Hey, I already killed you guys once. Stop shooting me with your boomerangs. You damn Aussies. A zombie saddle. Nice. I can straight up ride this bad boy. Alright, there's got to be a way down, right? Is it this way? How do, I get, how do I get down in this valley? I feel like that's where I need to go. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's. Uh, hey! Where did you come from? Level up, baby! I need to figure out a way to get some more health so I can take a little bit more of a hit. Here, you go get that one. I'll stand over here and shoot this one. And this one. The, I'll, I'll get the ones that are just kind of hanging out and not really doing anything. Actually, no, you tell me. I'll let you do that. Here, you go get that one. I'll finish this one off. There we go. How about a Chetty? You're just kind of chilling. An air rifle? We can get some snipey snipes? Oh, we definitely got to get rid of this crap. Get off me. You don't want any of this. I will go Jason Voorhees on this entire camp. None of y'all want any of this. Alright, so that way's blocked off as well. Can't get to that. Am I going to have to go around the long way? Let's see if that's going to be what it wants me to do or not. Here, you go attack them real quick. You don't really get affected by this. Oh, we found a diner. I like this Chetty. Can we go inside the diner? It's kind of boarded up a little bit. I'm going to guess not. Thanks for bringing me some ripped cloth. I appreciate it. Are you stuck on the porch, you moron? Look, I like having you with me, but you really are as dumb as a pile of hair, I think. Zombie? Where'd you go, man? All right, so maybe this is uh, this is the other side of that. So we're gonna, are we gonna have to go around the long way? Is this like a maybe maybe around this direction? Maybe around this rock and around the corner will take us to where we need to go. Hey, crazy person! Oh, you're a trumpeter. What? Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm like, why can't I attack? Too much, too much running. Hang on, I'm bandaging up. Stop hitting me. That's just rude. I'm going to have to make some more bandages. I'm going through them fast. Okay. Uh, hold, hold me. Uh, hold. I can only make two. Oh, I left all my sage behind. Okay, well, two's better than none. I need you to find me some sage. Dang it. Where's my cursor at? I see now why one of the options in the uh, configuration is to be able to change the size of your cursor. It makes it a hell of a lot easier to see what you're doing. Ooh, teleport tube. All right, let me drink some agua, help out with the heat. Well, that helped out quite a bit. Let's see what's in the old diner here. Is there anything to pick up? A full bottle, nice. Can you get that guy? I'm kind of busy here. Large food can. That's the first time I've even seen food. Here, I'll get this one. You go get this one. And I guess I'll get this one too. Uh-oh. Lost the cursor again. When you have to point the direction you want to attack and you lose the cursor on the screen, it makes it a little challenging to hit the right person. You end up swinging past them like a big maroon. This is a gate. 
How do I get inside? This looks like the facility that I'm trying to find. Find the first rocket piece so it's in here. Where's the where's the entrance here? How do we get inside this place? Hey you, can you come over here and hit like one of these barrels? Can I hit one of these barrels? That totally feels like that should work, you know? I just I feel like that should work. Get rid of him just so he doesn't come up and attack me. <laughs> As an entire horde shows up. Lovely. That's perfect timing, game. Thanks. Gotta use one of those bandages. My zombie is not doing a very good job of helping out. Yeah, he's got a ranged weapon. I could give him a melee. Oh, hell, I forgot to reload. You got the click. Look, I need you to find me some sage so I can make some more bandages. I'm down just to the one here. All right, where do we go? So this looks like where I need to go to get there. Unless, wait, what are you? What does this little icon here mean? I don't know what this is. Let's go over and see what this little place is. Maybe this is what I need to do to go around that way. Is there any sage anywhere in this general area? I feel like there should be, oh, hell. Careful, there's some spiky bits. Gas station. Um, that's a lot of zombies. I'm going to go over to this side real quick. How about you handle them? And I'll go inside the gas station and just do some shopping. How about it? Some tape. Don't lead them in here to where I'm at. I'm trying to do something. How do I, oh, that's outside. I'm like, why can't I pick this up? Good job. Another common chetty. These walls are a little hard to see how to navigate around, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Did you kill everybody that was over here? I'm gonna use my last bandage. Make sure you're reloaded. We're gonna have to go shoot some idiots here. Oh, hell. Okay, okay. Point in the right direction. Well, between the two of us, we might have enough ammo to kill one at a time here. I don't know what that was down there. That looked like a giant chicken when I saw it. Oh, it was groundhogs again. Alright, so that place is nice and fortified. Ow! Oh, they knocked me down! A bunch of bullies! You bunch of bullies. Ow! Stop hitting me so hard. I mean, I guess we have the same gun, right? Oh, hell. Okay. Uh, diving re uh, cancels your reload. That makes sense. Let me go ahead and just ground stomp you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to guess my zombie died. Hacking helmet required. I don't have any hacking helmets on me. Okay, we're going to weed through you guys as quickly as possible. Hey, calm down. If I could find my... Ow. If I could find my zombie, then I would definitely just revive him. Y'all leave me alone. Why are you so fast? Okay, you're going to follow me around here. We got some... Crazy music to go with this chase scene here. Okay, stamina's a little low. You need to get off me. We'll finish you off the old-fashioned way with a big boot to the face. Same thing with you. Save a little bit of ammo. Go ahead and pick up your scraps. Thank you. Whew. Okay, all right. How many more of you idiots are over here? A few. So like a zombie factory in there? If y'all could get impaled by these spikes, that'd just be great too. I would appreciate it a lot. Oh hell, we got tagged pretty good there. Oh crap! 
You aim the wrong way, dude. It's a good way to get hit. It's a good way to get hit, indeed. Holy cow. Okay, so we got a broken hacking helmet. We have the stuff to make some. Now, I'm going to guess, if I were a betting man here, I can't make any bandages. I don't have any sage. I've got a stupid amount of ribbed cloth, but you think I'd be able to make some uh, stuff there. Bandages just with ribbed cloth, but apparently not. Oh, no. Where's my zombie to come help me out? I already got rid of this pylon. Oh, my God. We died again. Ow, are those gophers attacking me? What the freaking... No! We got bees and gophers and all kinds of... Oh, this isn't going to be good. So, that is definitely not a place that we can get through. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on, I'm using a bandage. I don't have any... Oh, the spikes got me here. This place is insane. There's no way I'm supposed to be in here yet. Look at how this... Look at all this going on here. Yeah, I want to die inside here. I'm aware. But I'm trying to prove a point. That this does not connect. Ran out of the ability to move again. Okay, so that's not where we need to go. Alright, well, that was a nice, fun-filled, death-filled experience here. I still do not know how to get over to this little rocket area. That's an enemy camp. That's not what we're trying to do. Right over here. The moon rocket. Find the first rocket piece. It's in here. It's behind a fence. I have not figured out how to get to it. It kind of seems like if I can get through this barricade, which is really going to be impossible right at the moment, that maybe there's a path that goes down. Every time I think there is, and I do this fog of war and open up the map a little bit more, it uh, turns out to be not where I need to go at all. So what I really need to figure out how to do, and I haven't figured this out yet, so if you know and you want to tell me, I need to figure out how to get some more zombies to work for me. I know how to get more zombies here at the house. Uh, you go through your little pylon configure, and you can, as long as you have the pylon uh, for what you have here, total costs and stuff, then you can have a whole bunch of different zombies and stuff working at your house. You know, I gave this guy a little bit of work here. So he's going to gather up a bunch of wood and stuff for us. That's what he's doing. But as far as how to get another zombot to work with me, I'm not sure if I even can. I don't know. But anyway, I hope that even though we died a bunch, I hope the video was at least mildly entertaining. We're making our way down there, but I'd love to hear from you guys. So leave some comments as to what you think I should do next um, as far as like how to get more zombies, of course. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.